Amylase Technique Moonshine Episode Episode E4 Almost all recipes for making distilled liquors use barley malt of koji to convert starches for yeast to ferment to ethanol. However, as an option, there is a technique to use only enzymes instead of using barley or koji. In this, a combination of alpha amylase and beta amylase, or alternatively, a combination of alpha amylase and glucoamylase is used. Considering the difficulty of buying the beta amylase, the latter combination may be easier for most people. In this episode, we show how to make liquor from barley with amylases, but this technique can be applied to any other starchy material such as corn, rice, buckwheat, potato, sweet potato, and banana. In most cases, you should simply replace barley illustrated here by one of other starchy materials. Materials 2 cups barley kernels 6 cups water 1 tablespoon alpha amylase 1 tablespoon glucoamylase 1 half teaspoon citric acid 1 teaspoon turbo yeast Procedures Cook 2 cups barley in 6 cups water at 90 C or 194 F for 40 minutes. Stir with electric blender so all grains of barley are broken to smaller pieces. Cooked barley should look like glue, not flowing. Cool down to 55 C or 131 F, add alpha amylase, and stir. The barley glue is loosened significantly almost immediately, but not a free-flowing fluid. It is not sweet yet. Keep the same temperature for at least 2 hours. Add glucoamylase and stir. Keep the same temperature for 10 hours. Cool down to 32 C or 90 F and add turbo yeast, or sake yeast. Bubbles start rising within a day. Leave the mash until rising bubbles stops, 7 to 15 days. Filter the fermented liquid using a brew mesh bag. Distillation The still shown was made DIY, but in actual use, the cooling coil is covered by a thick canvas to assist the airflow sent by a fan at the bottom. Distill twice using a pot still. In the first distillation ignore the presence of methyl alcohol. In the second distillation, take the head, which is about 5% of the total distillate, or the before the temperature of the boiler reaches 82 C, and dispose. Collect the heart which comes after the head until the boiler temperature reached 98 C, after which the total amount of alcohol will be negligibly small. If you succeed with this recipe, apply the same to other materials including corn, rice, rye, oat, buckwheat, potatoes, sweet potatoes, and millet. This recipe works on any of these materials. Thank you for watching this video.